Hey guys, uh, welcome to your love reading for uh, Capricorn. Uh, this is going to be for your August 2022. You can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Uh, so we're going to take a look at your over energies of right now uh, regarding love and the person that you're connecting with. Oh no, for eight, uh, August. Uh, and then we will take a look at your person to see what their current true feelings and intentions are towards you. And then we'll finish off the read with the possible outcome and advice. Okay, so um, apply this to your own unique situation. Okay, keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate, take a look at your other placements. Uh, you can switch the roles if you want. Uh, this could be with new love, old love, current love. Okay, uh, if you guys haven't done so yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post. Give this video a thumbs up, like this video, share this video, leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective um, uh, Capricorn people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading specific to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you book a private personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box uh, uh, below, okay? So um, Capricorn, let's get started. Over energies for Capricorn regarding love and the person that they are connecting with. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for August 2022. All right, we have just. Libra energy. Could be dealing with a Libra here. You might have Libra on your chart, Capricorn. And a Nine of Cups. Okay. Seems like things are really balanced right now. Seems like you guys are happy with where you're at. Okay. Um, and I feel like it's a situation that someone here could be watching you be happy. And, you know, that's their karma. You know, uh, because you're, you're basically without them or that you want nothing to do with them. That Justice card could be an indication that you made a decision to cut something out of your life. And you're happy with that decision here. Ace of Pentacles here in the Knight of Wands, you see. Someone can't stand that they're that you're happy without them. Someone here is rushing in to give you an offer here. Knight of Wands, Aries Leo Sage. This is an individual that's been very in and out of your life. Okay? Um, I'm not gonna take those. Um, let's see. You might even have those energies in your chart too, Capricorn. We have the Emperor here, Aries energy and the four of pentacles. Whoever this is, someone here can't let you go for some reason. Yeah, but then they won't stick around to keep you around. <laughs> they won't do the right thing to keep you around, which is really silly. But this could be an indication that we have someone here that could be maturing or something like that, or that they've matured or that they've grown, okay? Um, you know, this could be an indication that also, you know, you're wiser and more mature and you're keeping to yourself if, if this person does come back towards you. Uh, tell me about the Justice card here. Why is Justice here? And the Five of Cups, the uh, Nine of Cups, and the Page of Wands, yeah. Um, someone here is regretting not giving you what you want, I feel, okay? So, yeah, I, I do feel like someone here is definitely facing their karma and they're trying to come back, I guess, to fix things, to make things right with you uh, and uh, hoping or assuming that the karma will clear out like that. It doesn't work like that. Whatever this person did to you, they already set it into motion into the universe. So it's going to come back to them, uh, whether they apologize or not. You know, it's going to come back towards them. It's the way of uh, the universe balancing energies here. Yeah. So, you know, it could be indication that, you know, maybe this person was sleeping around or that this person was messing around or something like that, or, you know, lying to you, telling you that, yeah, we are in commitment, but, and, and, and this person would, you know, go behind your back and, you know, go out and meet people and tell people that they're single. Okay. Tell me about this like, Ace of Pentacles here. Why is this Ace of Pentacles here? We have Temperance, Sagittarius energy, the uh, Knight of Wands here, and then the Hermit, Virgo energy. Someone here is definitely coming back to make peace with you. This person went into hermit mode for a while. They're coming out of hermit mode here. Yeah, they're coming in super, 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 super quick. Okay, tell me about this uh, emperor here. Why is this emperor here? We have Judgment, Sagittarius energy, the Four of Pentacles, and the King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. You could be dealing with a fire sign here, uh, Capricorn. Whoever this is, this is an individual that's unable to let you go and they're looking for a reconciliation. They could be going through a huge spiritual awakening. 
Yeah. Perhaps they're awakening to the fact that they were really, they treated you very crappily. If that's a word. All right. Um, judgment, Sagittarius energy, King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag. Tell me about the person that uh, Capricorn is dealing with here. What is this person's current true feelings and intentions towards Capricorn for August 2022? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Capricorn. King of Swords and the Nine of Swords. We have the Seven of Wands here and the Knight of Pentacles. We have the full Aries energy and the Three of Swords. Wow. Um, this person's experiencing some really, really bad karma. I mean, this person is so stressed out. This person is losing sleep. This is hitting them really, really, really hard. Yeah. However they treated you, we have the Seven of Wands and the Knight of Pentacles here, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. We have the Fool and the Three of Swords. It seems like an energy that whatever this person did, this person ended up hurting themselves here. It seems like this person's trying to run from it too, but they can't. I mean, Karma is ch chasing this person down the street, trying to like get this person to face it. Yeah? So tell me about this King of Swords here. Why is this King of Swords here? Uh, Aries energy with that fool. King of Swords and the Eight of Wands. Nine of Swords. We have Four of Swords. Seems like someone here is definitely coming in with a lot of communication to make peace with you here, uh, Capricorn. Tell me about this um, Seven of Wands. Why is the Seven of Wands here? Ace of Swords. The uh, Knight of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles here. You know, you blocked communication from this individual. You're driving this person completely bonkers. Yeah, you're driving this person completely bonkers. Yeah, they want to talk, but you blocked communication. Yeah, Nine of Pentacles, Vir Virgo energy, pre-Empress energy here. Uh, tell me about this uh, Fool card. You have the Nine of Wands, Three of Swords, and the Page of Swords. Some of you are spying on you. Every time this person watches you improve, grow, change, evolve. It hurts them more. It hurts them. Yeah. Page of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. This person's watching you hardcore. Outcome and advice here for um, Capricorn regarding their love situation for the, um, for the uh, month of August 2022. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Outcome and advice. What else does um, Capricorn need to know regarding their situation. Ace of Cups and the King of Cups. We have the Four of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune. We have the Five of Pentacles and the Three of uh, Cups. You know, I feel like what, what I'm feeling from this energy, this outcome is that, th you know, this person's in love with you. And I feel like this person wishes that they could do it over again. Yeah, if they have an opportunity, they will take back everything that uh, they've done to you and, and have it, they want to do over basically. Okay, uh, Ace of Cups and the King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. We have the Four of Cups here and the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, this person wants an opportunity for a do-over. We have the Five of Pentacles and the Three of Cups. You know, this person could have gone to explore other options, but you know, those options made this person feel even more alone. Because I feel like maybe this person couldn't stop thinking about you. Ace of Cups, why is this Ace of Cups here? With the Empress, look at that. Libra Taurus, that's you right here, Capricorn. King of Cups and the Hierophant. Someone here is definitely looking for higher levels of commitment here with you. I mean, someone here is definitely seeing you glow up and wise up here. Uh, but, you know, I, I just feel like this person can't do anything at this point. You got the Ten of Cups, uh, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Eight of Swords. But this person wants to turn back time. Yeah. And they wish that they could have done the right thing, I feel. I mean, this person wants commitment and marriage here with you. They want they want their happily ever after here with you. Five of Pentacles, Six of Swords, Three of Cups, and the Six of Cups. You know, this person's looking to reunite. They're definitely looking for a reconciliation here. Yeah. So Capricorn. I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video. Like this video. Uh, if you haven't done so yet, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. And I'll speak to you guys in the next one. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye.